Today let's see what budai jjigae is. Jjigae are basically Korean stews. There are many varieties and this is the army stew that is made with a variety of ingredients. Common ingredients include ham, sausage, baked beans, kimchi, instant noodles and gochujang or chili paste. The dish is typically made by boiling a variety of ingredients in a spicy broth. It is often served with rice and other side dishes. This is the burner where the pot with all ingredients will be kept to cook. This pot consists of multiple ingredients like different types of ham, meat pieces, sausage strips, onion, different types of macaroni and chili paste. One pot is mostly shared by multiple people. We also get rice and few other items as side dish. The bowl next to rice is a cold seaweed drink. It goes well with the spicy food. The items in the pot are left to boil and cook. These are few other side items. These are instant noodles that will be added to the boiling broth. You can stir the ingredients to cook all of them evenly. To help with cooking and for easy eating, the big ham pieces can be cut into small ones as you see here. Army stew became popular around the end of the Korean War when food was scarce and American army surplus supplies were fairly easy to come by. People living near the US army base were able to access the surplus processed meats from the military bases. Budai jjigae thus began as a very humble stew mixing American surplus processed food with local Korean flavors, making it the very first Korean American fusion dish. For some Koreans this dish brings back memories of the miserable post-war period that they had to suffer through. The dish also imparts a lesson to remain humble in times of abundance. Once the ham and other items are semi-cooked, we can add the instant noodles. Allow these noodles to cook as per your liking. Mix it with the broth so that it can soak in the spices. Once the noodles are cooked, you can serve a mix of all these items to your rice bowl and enjoy. I had a good time eating this humble Korean food and I should say that it was good. It may not have the traditional Korean flavors but it did taste good. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.